Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess and I'm switching it up today with a little jean transformation. I dipped in a pair of jeans, Levi's 550s I believe at a local thrift store. They were a little bit big on me, but I just wanted to play around with them. So I'm just gonna be showing you guys the whole transformation process and the before and after. I make them go from basically like a dark to a light wash. I do some distressing. I do a frayed hem on the bottom. I take in the waist with some darts. Overall transformation, I really like how it came out. I thought I would just film it and share with you guys how I did it. So for the before, these are Levi's 550s. I thrifted for $12.99 at a local thrift store. They're a very dark wash and they're a little too big on me. They're about three sizes too big on me. So I definitely want to take in the waist. I want to bleach and lighten the wash, cut the bottoms of them, fry them, and do some distressing. So I'm just going to need some scissors and a seam ripper. I'm going to start with the jeans inside out and just cutting about one or two inches off the bottom just to make them a little shorter. And I'm just going to take the other one just to make sure I make the same length cut on the other side. And now taking my seam ripper, I'm just going to start pulling at the bottom and just really roughening it up. This is going to pull some of those strings and give it that frayed look. This will take a few minutes, so be patient, but it's definitely worth it. It looks really cool and the fray will definitely be more emphasized after washing. So here's just both of the bottoms after I cut and frayed them. So now I'm just comparing another pair of jeans I own just to see where I want to do my knee rip. You could also try it on and pin the point where you'd want to do it. I'm just taking my scissors and cutting a little slit. I'm just gonna fold the jeans again and cut two more slightly smaller slits above and below the first one I made. And I actually ended up cutting the top one just a little bit longer. So this is what that'll look like. And then I'm just gonna take some regular tweezers and just start kind of pulling and tugging at it a little just to kind of loosen those strings up. And then you should be able to start pulling some of the white strings off and just kind of roughening the edges. And once I am able to pull some of those white strings there, as you see, I'm just going to start tugging at it a little more until I get a few of those. And then I'm just going to take my tweezers and start pulling really carefully the blue threads. This can definitely take a hot minute, but it's really cool with the result it produces. And I don't know, I just found this kind of satisfying to watch, but after doing this for quite a while and getting all those little blue strings out, I just continued to kind of play around with it and do it on the other slit I made. And I feel like when you're distressing jeans, you can really take the freedom into your own hands and just get creative with it and do what you want. So I'm just roughening up the edges of those slits with the tweezers. This is what it looks like before being washed and after being washed, it's gonna look a lot more emphasized. But now we're gonna get into bleaching the jeans. So the exciting part, I'm taking like basically an entire liter of bleach and pouring it into a bathtub of lukewarm water and just mixing it around so it's evenly dispersed. Carefully with gloves on place your jeans into the bathtub and just push them down all the way Make sure they're fully submerged under the water and there's no creases and that they lay flat After about an hour or so you're gonna want to check it and just flip it over You might want to just check it every 30 to 60 minutes throughout the process Just to make sure that there's no creasing and that the bleach is evenly dispersed so now I'm just gonna put it in a plastic bag to avoid a mess as I walk to my washing machine. And I'm just gonna wash those normally with some detergent. Okay, so after they've been washed, this is what they look like. I love the color of them. I feel like the light wash is so much cuter than before. The distressing looks a lot more noticeable now. 
and this, this is a little comparison of the dark to light wash. And I bleached them for about three and a half hours to get to this color. I did have a little mess up, so I'm just gonna actually add a little more distressing just to hide that a bit. So I'm just gonna do the exact same process that I did before, cutting some slits and just taking my tweezers and just really tugging and pulling at it and just getting creative. It's honestly so satisfying how these little blue strings can just pull out and then you're just getting this great result of a distressed denim jean. Distressing the slits a little bit with the tweezers just to roughen them up a little and make it look a little more organic. I also decided to go ahead and add a little rip to the back pocket. And I'm just taking a little facial razor and just scraping the top of the pocket to give it a little more of a distressed look. And I feel like this just adds a nice little touch to it. And I just added one more small rip right below one of the front pockets. Just make sure you pull the pocket out of the way so that you're not cutting into the pocket. And I feel like with the rips, you can really just pick and choose where you want to place them, make them all different sizes and just really make them look natural and not too perfect, I think is the key. So I just went ahead and washed them again to get the full effect of the distressing and I really like them. So if you didn't have to resize the jeans, that would basically be the last step. But since I do have to take mine in at the waist, since they are a few inches too big, I'm going to be sewing some darts and just finishing it off like that. So I just removed the tag really carefully with my seam ripper and I'm just going to sew some basic darts. I do have a video on how to resize jeans. If you want to check it out, I'll link it above here. But since I only needed a few inches, I thought I can just do the darts and I made sure to go down a little bit lower with them to avoid some puckering. So once I've sewn my darts, I'm just gonna re-add that tag back. I do have golden denim thread, you can get this at Joann's, just to give it that same look that it had when I purchased them. And here is the final result with the darts. So I re-sewed that tag back on. I took it in about three to four inches. And yeah, I think it came out pretty good for darts. Like it's not very puckered. And here's the final result. Love the light wash. I love the distressing. I like how I frayed the bottom of it. It just looks natural and organic. Looks a little more vintage and worn. And I feel like these just look a lot more 2021 style compared to the previous ones I had bought. And overall, I just think the color difference is so crazy with just about three or so hours of the bleaching. And here's them on. I absolutely love them and I'm definitely going to be wearing them. So I would say this thrip flip wasn't a fail and it actually came out pretty good. So I'm really happy with the results. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. So that's all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little jean transformation. I overall like really like the light wash tone, the distressing. This was fun. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video.